that. Greet everybody. <laughs> Let's sit in the Gyan Mudra, back straight, eyes closed, take a deep breath and chant Om for three times. Uh, Obviously, in my life, before, I used to read a lot of books on Buddha Bhagwan. So that's how I learned about not to kill even a fly and things like that. But then I started believing in myself. I said, God lives within all of us. Once you find the God within you, then you start respecting every single person around you. And that's how I used to live. And then after wedding, first time when I went to Kathmandu, went to Paspatinath, that's when I got the knowledge of there is somebody more supreme above us, which who created us. So that became kind of, you can call it Paspatinath, my guru kind of give me the gyan. And when you have a good guru, once he gives you the direction, he passes on to a different guru. And that's why in my life I've got three or four gurus coming through and last one to come across was Baba Ramdev. So this is the way, one guru can't teach you everything. Everybody has certain knowledge, certain direction. So if once they've done your, their own knowledge to you, they pass on to somebody else who can give you further knowledge to enhance yourself and, and, and kind of work for your soul. We all know how to live for yourself. Learn to live for others. Remember, life is your body is just like a cloth. This, this is only for this life. Your soul never dies, soul always lives on. We tend to work for today. You have to learn to live for your future, your soul, your journey. You're born and you die. It's, it's a cycle. Ultimately, not to be born much. That's what life is all about. Spirituality. What you born next time, depending on what you've done this life. If you've done something wrong, you'll get punished for it. If you've done your good, you will be rewarded for that. That can never be lost. Because when I was working in, when I was doing yoga training, or you doing yoga or occupation in Jindal, in Bangalore. I met a person from Paspatinath, not Paspatinath, from Tripti Bala, one of the high priests. He was there for the promoting his own health. So I used to teach him yoga. And he used to treat me about moch. He was talking about all the different things. And that's why I'm saying that he was trying to explain to me what moch was. What he said was, if you look at the pig, you look at the cow. People play the cow. And, and also when the cow, the cow dies, they use, the, they use him afterward for the shoes and different things, leather bag and certain things. Same way with the pig, they kick him when he's alive, but they kind of make everything use of him afterward. So they, when they were discussing, they were saying, why they pay you, why didn't they pay me? Why didn't they use me? Then cow said, yes, you are useful after your death. I'm useful when I'm alive. That's the difference. That's what Moksha is. 
be we useful. Don't just be like a pig, be like a cow. Be useful when you're alive and work for your soul. That's how my life can have been trying to be. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm trying to do my best. So I'd like to start the prayer to the class with my prayer to my first partners. Om Mahadev Sri Sankar Shambhu, Umakanta Tripurare, Mitrunjay Vishwad Basulin, Ganga Gardar Midvadnare, Arsi Sankar Gaurisham, Vandi Ganga Dharmisham, Rudram Pasupati Misanam, Kalikasi Puri Natham, Jai Shambhu, Jai Shambhu, Sri Gauri Shankar Jai Shambhu, Jai Shambhu, Jai Shambhu, Sri Gauri Shankar Jai Shambhu, Om Shyam Sadasudai, Amrit Rudrai, Parvati Pranbal Bhai, Namo Nama. Har 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 Mahadev, Om Santi Santi. So let's do the sitting in Gyan Mudra, or turn it upside down to Chin Mudra, and we do Bastika, just to expand the bottom six in the lung for 30 seconds. Excellent. We are still keeping the chin mudra. We're going to do kapal bhakti for one minute, trying to forcefully expand the bottom sex in the lung. And relax, excellent. Take a couple of deep breath because you're hyperventilating. Next, we do the Adi Mudra. Open your palm of your hand, thumb in the middle, make a tight press. That sends the prana to the top six in the lung, your airway. You do Bastrika for 30 seconds. And still keeping the Adi Mudra, we can do Kapal Bharti for one minute.
and relax. Excellent. Take a couple of deep breaths again. Next, expand some lung for your both hands in the front as you breathe in. And relax. And excellent. Well done. You both hands there. If you go back, you breathe in. If you go forward, you breathe back. And relax. Put your both hands there. As you breathe in, when you breathe out, go right to left. And relax. So what I thought now we'll add the your posture exercise. This is also able to expand the lung properly. So you put your right hand on your left knee, kick across as far as you can, take as far as you can, and then put your chin down here. And relax. The same thing with left hand. And relax. Next both hand there. Go across. And then reach in there. Relax. Next. That helps to exercise your muscle around the rib cage. So they can stretch to give the diaphragm to go down and make it easier. Next, we will do some exercise for your posture. We are breathing in, go hand up and down. Then put your both hand there. And then to the reverse. Then put your both hands together. Put try to open, strengthen your shoulder blade. Go, go forward. Hold it there for ten seconds. And relax. Once more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Next, put your both pressure on each other hand. Put a pressure there. Keeping the pressure on. Once you're keeping the pressure on, breathe in and out. You go up and down. And 
and relax. Next, put your both hand there, like a breathing, and then do a seizure action, you breathe out. Always listen to body. Your hand is tired, just shake your arm and you'll be okay. Back to it, then join the class again. And relax. Excellent. You're both on the front, palm facing each other, breathing in. You're doing bustrika at the same time. Then reverse the hand, palm facing back of the palm facing each other. Then take your hand up, take your part slightly, holding a beach ball in your hand. As you go back, you breathe in and for a breathe in. Then bend your full like this and just shake them up. And relax. You both hand there now. As you come, you touch your breathe in. When you breathe in, then go behind. When you touch your finger, you breathe in. When you go there, you breathe out. And relax. Just do that for me again. And the reverse. Excellent. Then put your both hand there. And to the reverse. Then put your both hands together and connect to posture like that. Hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Once more. Five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Remember, what you've done so far is like a warm up exercise for your lung before we do the bustrika to give you the maximum benefit of the pranayam of benefit. Like the occupation we do for lung every day, who wants to show me that to see how good you all have a knowledge? Sita Banacho, okay, Sita, did you saw it? I'll highlight here. You saw me. Three times we will do for the lungs. One, two, three, 
Thank you. Also, I've, got can do I've got one question if you don't mind. Yeah, only one. So we, are, one. we are doing only for nine times. Why not ten? <laughs> My name is Sam. Why is Sam? I don't know. That's okay. a, you know I, can't, <laughs> I can't answer no. that. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to know that why is no, it no. only nine? That's, that's the way I've been taught. Uh, looked at the the first somebody who showed me doing it doing nine times, so it, that became my norm kind of idea. Nothing, nothing specific. You can do fifteen times. Supposed to do okay. nine sets of these every time. Maybe. So okay. we do nine times till I think, but you do nine sets as well. We only doing three because of time factor. Okay. You do nine times okay. and within a week, you'll see a difference to your health. That's what that's okay. what the guy was saying, obviously. Ramji, I, is that the okay. thank you. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for. Nobody did that. That's what I'm waiting for you to do that acupressure point. Is that so the tap it there? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. I four, remember five. that. <laughs> that's what I wanted Sita to do, but doesn't matter. She went into the easy one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> she took a shortcut. <laughs> and then now, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next is the see, Lung meridian, I said to you, goes from the back of the nail, goes across, across that uh, there, in there, goes across to the middle there, goes across into that. That's where, and the, the, that's the energy channel. By medical science, they don't believe in energy channel. By in Ayurveda or in naturopathy, they believe in energy channel, meridian, where the energy flows through. And alone below, all the helps to clear the energy channel. This acupressure does the same thing. And that's why, even for allergy, I'll give you, a, since we're talking about energy channel, if you want to improve your allergy, lung meridian goes across that point on your palm of your hand. If I draw a pin, uh, let me see. It's like that. Right. So what you have to do is, if you press this point daily, that will help you to clear your allergy as well. It makes your lung stronger. Part of the allergy is, as Swami said, lack of energy. So once you increase the amount of oxygen in your blood, auto automatically all the allergy goes away. It's like a part of your immune system. Pressing this point. Since we're talking about allergy, another good thing, I'll Every day I'll give you a small hint. And then on Saturday I'll do the highlight of the whole thing together. So for allergy, what you have to do is your lymphatic system goes from your face all the way over the ear, goes down to the ear, and then comes down like that. And from the back of the leg goes across. So take your forefinger and just put pressure on the top and just take across into the behind the ear. People have allergy, this will prevent that. Also, this will get it off lymphatic system away from your face, all the dirt. And then you go across the nose, 
and take up into the ear. Everything good on top of the ear. First, you rub, you can rub this like this, in this finger, rub there. For 30 seconds. That will get it up sinus full. And then you take across into that, up of the ear. And then you take the V-shape, up right there, and take it along. And then, and then once you, and then back of the head comes across to it, you know, and then you take everything through there, you massage it through the neck, bind the ear, and then take it to the daily system. If you do that daily with some kind of put aloe vera gel or something on your face, that is soft though, remove all the toxins from your face. And your face will become shiny as the Cantage, you know, you can see all the shiny face you get, you see that. That's what will happen to you, you know, if you just do that daily basis. I don't Most put any makeup. Huh? I don't put any makeup. That's good. Excellent. Now you don't need makeup on. If you do Kapavati and all this, but I'm telling you, you have a natural glue then. That's what, that's what it's all about. We use too much chemical. Everything you put on the skin goes to your blood and harms your, harms your health. You think you're putting on the surface, but through the surface, it goes to the skin and blood takes you to the liver. The liver has to get rid of it, all the chemical. So, so that's why sometimes liver becomes sluggish, fatty, and that's why you have health issues as well. So where I was before this, before I went tangent to the <laughs> this my lymphatic system, we were doing the bastika we haven't done yet. We still got to do the yeah, bastika. Yeah. We got long we done we done that we done all the acupressure points so we done this one so first we done this one second one is, if you look at the middle of the the, the if you make a muscle tight there's a main, main tendons if you go just outside that press that and do that for me this is point l5 no, L5, yes, L5. Lung point five, that's what it's called. If you look at the meridian diagram, if you Google it, you'll find that point. So I'm not giving the hocus pocus, I'm giving you the scientific size of it. This is L5. And then you put your both fingers together, where your middle finger joins the palm of your hand, that's L7. Pressing it there. Do the same thing with opposite hand, L7. And then where the thumb point comes to the palm of your hand, press it there, that's L line. Same thing other side. Can, can somebody tell me what is the point L1 then? What is the point L1? Number one. You yes. mean in the spine? You mean in the spine? No, no. I'm talking about lung meridian, which goes from lung here meridian. all the way down to the hand. If this is L5, this is L9, this is L7, L9, where is L point L1? What do you think? Have a this guess. Huh? Elbow here? No, but that's, that's L5, mm -hmm. L7, L9, and then I draw a line there going across there, back of the nail. L1 is just back of the nail there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I was just trying to, trying to pull your legs all of you, no problem. See, sometimes you don't think about these things. Once you start thinking in that form of energy channel, how it flows, then you get more benefit out of the pranayama, what we're doing. That, so I'm not, I wasn't trying to catch you all out. I'm just trying to kind of highlight. Sometimes you have to, you, you have a lot of talent in you. You have to use it. Don't just sit back and just do things but what I'm telling you. You have to think of thinking what you're trying to do. Very important. So we've done that. And, and last, last, last but not least, lymphatic system is very important. 
well lymphatic exercise is put your three finger up there, press hard there in the middle of the palm of your hand and just press it like that. This will remove all the toxin through the lymph fluid will flow faster and remove all the toxin from the left side of the breast. Prevention of breast cancer is all. You do that daily. Prevention is better than cure, is what you say. Do the same thing with the opposite hand as well. That's the, so we managed to do quite a bit there. Now we're going to do the bustrika, the very first pranayam, which gives you the vitality. What's the benefit of pranayam? Can somebody tell me again? What is the benefit of pranayam? What, what, everybody's tell me one thing, what you know. So different people can answer back. It's My money yet? It's um, um, increases the, the oxygen. What's the, what's the very first thing pranayam does? Increases the oxygen level in your blood. That's, that's all you That's, your, that, that's your, your master your thing. But in your lungs. Your yeah. level. Excellent. Yeah. What's the second one? Anybody else? Purifies the circulation. Yes, improves circulation. So that's what does what that does do? Improves your controls your body temperature. Oh, body temperature. Yeah. Okay. Third. What's the third thing? Come on. It purifies the blood. No, but that does that with oxygen anyway. What about this? Make us your thyroid. Activate okay. your thyroid gland. No, no, no thyroid. Balance your hormone. Oh, balance your hormone. Yeah. Balance your hormone. Oh, your endocrine system. Sorry, I'm kind of thank you, giving simple words to the amber that easily to the amber and kind of promote your own health. What else, what else does you do? When you do Kapalvati, what happens to your all the organs? Internal organs get active. That's right. Yes. Exercise the internal organs, so you get rid yes. of all the toxins, all the lipid fat, everything around the organs, so they can perform a better task. And it works on your respiratory system and your digestive system. And when the, what's the next sentence I say? Highly clean body, highly? Immune body. Uh, so excellent, well done. So highly clean body is highly immune body. Mm -hmm. So when you do Kapalvati, you clear all the toxin out of your body. So automatically your immunity improves to fight any kind of virus. And what's the last thing Pranam does? We usually with Bastrika. Oxygen level, the one helps to control your... Come on, what I'm looking for? Emotion. Balance the metabolism. No, no emotional. Control your my emotion, your mind, mind. your emotion, mind. anger, fear, anger. stress, depress, depression, they all calm down. No, you know, I'm trying to remember just simple things. I'm not trying to make it difficult. I'm not testing you. I'm just trying to guide you to make sure don't just do pranayam. Think why you're doing it. Then you'll get uppermost benefit from the pranayam. So if you're in the family, so don't don't be shy about it. Think about it, what you're trying to do. What mind thinks, body delivers. Mind is very strong. It's like a horse. Once you learn to control the mind, you are the master. If mind starts controlling you, <laughs> then you are the slave. What do you want to be? Do you want to be master or the slave? That's the decision you have to make. Follow me? Very good. Let's get Sorry. Let's go back to class again. Otherwise. Now we sit in the, to get the, get the maximum benefit of pranayama now. You sit in the Gyan Mudra, that helps to focus, concentrate. And second, and doing Kichi Mudra, which is rolling your tongue back up the way, that helps to activate the parasympathetic nerve system. So you also breath become deeper. And meditate on the third eye or the GV26, which helps to distress, or you follow your breath, whichever you feel comfortable with, no problem. So sitting Yanudra, let's do that for next three minutes. I've been told not to play the music, so no music today. Today we're going to focus and meditate on yourself, on your breath, on the third eye, or govern the person. This gives you vitality, energy.
more the oxygenated blood. Then by doing Kichi Mudra, the breath is deeper. The lung can expand fuller, more fuller. Within the silence, you connect with your own soul. To connect with the soul, you have to connect, control your mind. So pranayama is one of the easiest way to do that. Once through breath, you learn to control your body and mind that helps to connect with the soul, which guides you into spirituality, your future journey for your soul. Once you're over 60, you have to learn, you have to think more of your soul journey, focus more on that rather than your current body. Be soon you need to part that, depart that. It's like when you go on a holiday, you plan your holiday. That's what you're trying to do. After 60, you have to plan your holiday for the what's where you want to go in your next journey. You guys are we're telling you guide you to the path of salvation. Once you reach to that, towards that path, you don't have an ego. You do things and you walk away. You don't look for thank you and anything like that. They are not there, they are important. Once you start accepting thank you and all this, it gives you more ego. Once you have ego, you lose your power. And take your both hand up in there, rub them together. Om to Thakur Bhai, he had to leave. Thank you very much for all your support over the years you're giving us. Plenty of time for PYPT, really appreciate you there. Thank you again. Have a lovely day. So that gives you vitality, energy. A lot of benefit of pranayam. Pranayam is the one always gives you that kind of a self-confidence as well and gives show you the path for the future. We all talk about, every religion talk about spirituality, but there's no easy solution. You have to go through 
niyam all the you know astang yoga yam niyam pranam patata patraha dharana dhyan samadhi all they are the path to your destiny to your journey to your soul and obviously meditation plays an important part as well all the everything whole thing put together dhana dhyan is actually type of meditation so you you connect with your god sense itself now let's do some exercise now for the feet obviously i know you're working this week on asthma allergy and things like that so we still have to your leg health is very important people have a damaged health it leads to life span you have to be able to walk properly and knee takes all the load for daily so you have you have to have a knee stronger so take let me turn my camera around And relax. Now move it to it back and forward. Can somebody tell me what's the benefit of this? Anyone? What's the yeah, benefit of this? When scalp them. Get the psychic and uh, back to normal. When so scalp. What's, what's the benefit of moving it to it? Gulp. Oh, yes, gulp. Gulp. Yes. gulp. That's the excellent. Well done. Because what happens whenever you eat food, you produce uric acid. Which gets rid of through your kidney function, but if your kidney can cope with it, it flows in your blood and goes to the furthest part of your body at the bend at the at the toes and deposits the uric acid, which crystallizes and it's like very painful effect. It's the first sign of arthritis. If you do this daily, that crystallization won't happen. Crystallization only happens when the body is stirred when you're not using the tools. Then the whole feet goes forward and back. Forward, be that. So what's the benefit of this? Arthritis and knee problem. And you get that? from the joints. No, that's okay. That's that's the side benefit. What's the main benefit? Arthritis. Prevent the cramp. Blood circulation. That's what we're looking for. The main thing Need is prevention, of, prevention cramp. of cramp for cramp. people with diabetes or neuro problem. So when you get cramp, bring your toes towards you and lift your hand up. The cramp will go away. Especially okay. cramp happens to people in night time or they wake up two o'clock, three o'clock in night time with the cramp in your feet. This will prevent that happening. Just bring it to me. I used to get cramp all the time. Now I don't. And then take clapping. And then take the feet on the cycle. And do the reverse. Next, we do the knee exercise. Support the knee on the top of your hand. And you breathe it. Then down the circle. And do the reverse. Then cycling. And 
Good off with his leg. And the reverse. And then cycling. And Oh. And relax. Excellent. Next, bend the knee like this. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Take the feet across. Turn the head. Five times one way. And five times opposite. What's one of the most important organ you press in your feet? For it doesn't matter what kind of ailment you have. In liver. That's it. Well, that's between the toes and the finger. Press that daily. You have to press that point daily, morning and evening, whenever you can. This will help to energize your liver. Liver is an important organ. Without liver, you can't survive. That's why God made the liver to grow. If I give my half liver to somebody else, my liver will grow back to normal size. But when I press it, painful. So yeah, that's one thing. That's why you have liver problem. That's what I'm telling you. Oh. Oh. You're pressing it, you're fixing it. Oh. Liver is important. All the illness happens, high blood pressure, Low blood pressure, arthritis, liver, liver plays a part in it. If liver is active, then it, then it will improve your health overall. Even for allergy, asthma, sinus, you have to press the liver. Liver is sluggish, that's what produces a lot of mucus, and that's what creates the cough and all that. Well. If I press it, it will get better? Yes, that's what I think. There, on the feet, or on the hand, on the right hand, near the heart point. Is, Thank you. Yeah. Just hard line on the right hand, pressing that point. Next other leg. Yes, you do. I'll let the main door open so the dogs with the freedom will go out and come back and say, hey, he's enjoying the freedom this step. <laughs> he's the master of the house there. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything. I'm stuck here. <laughs> I relax. <laughs> He's sitting like a king of the castle there, watching the doors open. He goes out, plays in the garden, comes back with his tire, just like a big baby, and goes the other way. <laughs> Hi, Yogi. And I can place the liver point in both 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 legs. Excellent. Next, I want somebody else to do the nitric oxide exercise completely, whole package. Who wants to? Somebody has done it before. Somebody who wants to do it. With humming and also do the blowout exercise. Who wants to do it? Come on, own up, anybody? I know. Anybody new? I. Dead men. Or someone will do. Who wants to do it? Anybody else? No, nobody. I can do if you wish. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Although I'm just wondering anybody else wants to have a shot at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm waiting for others. Huh? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Come on. I'm not waiting. confident. I'm not confident. Is it this one? I can't. Yeah. I'm not confident. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, just wait. let somebody else do it. It'll be, yeah. I don't want you to, you know. Be, make you feel any different, you know, you're, you're good at it, you just copy somebody better for you. 
Eh, okay. Eh, um, well, well, I'm going on, boy. You've been sitting down too quietly for the last couple of months or so. See, quite simple as to say. I'll do it with you. I'm sorry, I'm putting on the spot. I don't want to, don't like doing that. You know, it's not fair. I what the money is there? Money is there. I can do the first part, but I, I don't know the rest want to follow. But if you just give me a little hint. I'll put it on you with you as well, or I can do with you. So I'm you're watching me as well in between. Okay. Okay. So when you go, tell me, I like you. No, I mean. What are you doing here? Yeah. First. You take your glasses off. Perfect. Good start. And uh, uh, put your hands on the ears and uh, the fingers at the back and press your ears and you hum like a bee for three times, Sarvindi? Five, five times. Five times, okay. When do you do it? When do you do it in Delhi? Whenever you go out, when you come back from the outside, you come and yes. do it, you fight the infection. That's right, yeah. So every time you go out, you do this first thing so that you... Whatever you carry, it will help you clear it from the system. Okay, so let's start. Take a deep breath and hum again. Relax and get your breath back to normal. Okay, you all stand up and we do walking, jogging. So first we do the chair sitting and squatting. So we bend. Oh, Bunny, you need to move your camera slightly up the waist. Move your camera slightly up. That's better. Thank you. Yeah, you can see me now, yeah? <clears throat> okay. Your hands in the front and bend your knees down a little and keep your hands straight and then go up and down and then hands back, up, down. I think it's the other way. That yeah. way, yeah. That's it. And you have to do it faster. If you do and faster, then that's what happens. Yeah. So we do this three times. Three sessions, Sarvindi? 20 times. Uh, three sessions, yeah. Right. Keep your elbows straight as well. And if you have knee problem, try and take it easy because it will give a strain on your knees. Have a little break by standing straight. I think Bali, you lost the count. That's <laughs> why you look wrong. Then, yeah. Yes. And then we do walking like a dead man's walk, straight, your arms straight, your palms open, facing inward. And, breathe, and try and listen to your breathing because you have to take a deep breath to recharge. <laughs> 
then we um, do the rotating fist and 10 times two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to be uh, putting hands up. The dead man is tied down. Yes, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. You go faster. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And shake you. And then we do the uh, lifting of the ball, for King to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen. And 20 and relax. And then we're going to do a star jump. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, like this. You, you've done that, I think, seven years ago. Yeah. That's the second time. Yeah, oh, second. Yeah. Okay. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, once you do it, you remember it when you're in charge. See? That's the difference. Okay. That's part of a teaching to make sure you're all aware of what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we do the star jump. Okay. Yeah. 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 Dead man's walking and try and uh, do if you can. Make sure you, you don't have any shoulder injuries because this will happen little pain on your shoulders. And try and keep your hands straight. Try not to bend your elbows like this. So you have to do straight. Okay. Now twist and circle 10 times. And then 10 times reverse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then uh, star jump, dead man star jump. Fast. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's so <laughs> soon, eh? Five, six, seven. Oh, eight. Look, I'm going to do that. 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 Yeah, the last one. Oh, sorry. Uh, lifting, heavy lifting, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting just to this guy. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Like with all your try and do it at your own pace. So this exercise might help to just do that first try and that give your hand shoulder pain go just a few times. It's a tension you have. It's quite painful, but it's quite good. As you keep doing it, your muscle will become stronger and stronger. This is swaying from one side to the other. And you feel the coolness as well as you're swaying away. And the last round now. In the last round, like I said, everybody, you know, those who have got shoulder pains and knee pain, just take it easy because it will give you a strain, okay? So do it gently 
at your own pace, your mind over your body. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then we do dead man's walking. Dine koine bi shoulder ma problem hoy, so dire dire karjo. Ane hansa ben tamay bi dime dime karjo. Jo lage ke dukhe chhe, so thodi pa uba le jajo. Ane pati pachu sharu karjo. Koi bi exercise, okay? And then now. We're going to do the half muti pakarwani and the gold gold daswar and the daswar reverse karjo, okay? Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And we're going to do star jump faster, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And relax. And give a little shake to your shoulders if you got pain. Now we're gonna do the lifting. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And take your shoulders. So much, Serenji. So what do you think of that, uh, everybody? Did you know? Did you know do well? Excellent. Well done. One is it? Getting there. <laughs> no, but this is how you remember. Once you, once it's like a, if you're going, uh, you have to go A to B. If you're not driving it, if you're sitting on the side, you don't remember yeah. the route. Once you drive it, you you know the axis, you know the route all the time. Absolutely. And that's what I'm trying to directly trying to help you to do that. No, it's good because uh, also your videos are there on um, YouTube. YouTube. So you for that. That's it. Excellent. No, no, thank you. Oh, yeah. That was quite tiring. Isn't it? Your hand gets really sore. <laughs> I mean, you work too hard. <laughs> no, but it's, no, no, but it's, it's, uh, you say, somebody say, no pain, no gain. That's what I have to fight. That's true. Let's yeah. just do that this couple of times. <laughs> What well, like you do now is Hansaji. Unmute yourself. Hansaji. Unmute yourself. She's learning. No, and now I want you to do this exercise for me. You, you tell us, you're the guru now. You tell us how to do this. Yes. Give us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's excellent. Well done, Hansa. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up, down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, two, two together. No, One, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, oh, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
sold on the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you all right? You managing all right? Anjali, are you okay? Are you tired? Yeah. Look, no problem, just good. Now you go. Now you're weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now just one, two, three, well four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Well done, Anzali. Excellent. That was perfect. I couldn't. Everybody, I'm, I leaving. Couldn't. I'm huh? leaving now. Okay. Leaving. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank Look after you. yourself. Oh, Bye. sir. Well done. Well done, Anzali. Excellent. And very good. You are very perfect. Much. Thank you. Well, uh, inspiration to us all. She has got good spirit. Yes, you can see how good she is. She's been watching me for long enough now. She remembers every single move, which is excellent. <laughs> so let's take your both hand up now in the air. And twist right. Then interlock your finger, put the pressure in the back of your head. Very good for spondylitis. Take a deep breath in. Holding your breath, put the pressure on each other for 10 seconds. And relax. Once more. Then the right hand. Then the left hand. Yeah. And then the both hand interlock in the front. And last, and do the opposite. And next is the throat exercise with your chin down, and you go up in. Then you make like a pendulum. Then look behind your back. Then taking the head around the circle. And then do the reverse. And relax. So for us, for allergy and asthma, pranayam plays a big part. The rest is the kapalvati, and then the asan. And also you are known below as well. So today we'll focus on pranayam. Tomorrow we'll do more of the asan as well. So let's sit in the, the kapalvati. First you have to collect your posture. 
even before you collect a point, you put your both hand like this. Take your all the way back up as high as you can. And do Kapalvati 30 seconds, focusing on your spine. Next, well, next one is very important. It does the complete exercise of every part of the body or in the body. You should take your both legs straight. Take your right leg over the left leg. Your left hand goes, right hand goes behind your back. Left hand comes up like this. You grab it, twist yourself towards the right side. This way you exercise everything on the left side of the body. All the organs, cell, muscle, everything. And relax. Next, take the left leg over the right leg. The left hand goes behind your back. The right hand comes up. You have it, and you're twisting yourself towards the left side. So exercising every cell, muscles, organs on the right side of the body. Now, somebody tell me what's the sequence of mudra we try to do in Kapalvati to see if you remember it. Somebody different who wants to say that? Okay, Mari, you want to speak? First. We do Udan mudra first. Udan mudra. mudra, how do you do it? Just show me, just show example. Yeah, um, you have uh, touch all your three fingers, leaving the little finger separate. Yeah, and touching yeah. the toes, uh, touching the uh, thumb, all your three yeah. fingers, and leaving the that yeah. udan mudra. How do you do it? If you do a kapal oh. how do you do it? Yeah, you put, it you do it, or you put it on your shoulder and you twist. So why do you twist? What's the benefit of that? It helps all your internal organs. Uh, it activates and stimulates internal organs. What? What? Which organ? Uh, intestine. Intestine. Huh? No. Intestine. Intestine and stomach. Thyroid. 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 Oh, thyroid. Thyroid. Because this, this is Udan Mudra sends energy to your thyroid gland. So, so that's what this does. So this actually improves the overall thought. We're twisting it. Also, you're, what you're saying, intestine as well. The main purpose is to actually activate your thyroid gland. So you're twisting your, twisting your neck as well. So you're activating your right and left thyroid both sides when you do that. So you get double benefit. Ah, हम लोग गुजरात हम लोग गुजराती भाई बने हैं आपको maximum profit चाहिए little effort. That's what I'm trying to give you. <laughs> no, no. No, but that's why. जब करोगे तो अपने याद हो जाएगा. No, next time you will remember. No. That's the beauty of doing it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the uh, next one after that? Why you mudra? What does that do? What does that do? Releases the gas. Uh, help with the gout. Arthritis. How does the, how does the gas create? How, where does the gas come from? From the food. Because if you don't have a good bowel movement, oh, you yeah. get gas. 
And also, if you eat food, if you don't digest the food properly long, quickly enough, then it starts fermenting. That gives you a lot of gas. And that gas travels to your weakest point, whether your joint pain, anywhere else, creates, creates a bigger inflammation and your pain increases. So once you remove the gas through the Vayu Mudra, inflammation goes down and the pain goes down. That makes sense? I'm just saying so, you know, understanding of it, then it makes a much better benefit for you. And second also, that gas, when it travels up the, up the body, makes the body acidity. When it comes up, gives you heart dysonia. When it passes through your heart, gives you similar symptoms to heart attack, palpitation in your heart. When it goes to your throat, gives you a lot of roughness in your throat. When it goes to your mouth, gives you ulcer, coated tongue, bad breath. When it goes to nasal passage, gives you a lot of mucus, your nose gets blocked. And when it goes to the head, gives you a severe headache. So really, you have to have a good bowel movement. Every illness starts from here. If you don't, if you don't digest, if you don't uh, empty your bowel every morning and don't eat the food which digests quickly, then you're going to create problem for yourself. Now, could you could you repeat that again, please? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I will know. tomorrow. I will tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. But uh, tomorrow I'm looking for help. Tomorrow I want to do exercise. I would like you, you to take control of all that. I'll, I'll guide you to which exercise I want to do for the allergy and asthma. Oh, okay. You know, you're all okay right. with it? Just, I'm just warning you before. You can't tell me, you didn't warn me before. I'm, I'll oh. give you 24 hour notice now. <laughs> oh, if you tell me which exercise, so I'll practice I'll, it. I'll, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll write to you. I can, I can, if you send me a WhatsApp message, I can, I can give a copy of that to you. Okay. That might be better, yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So, what's the anybody else? What's the next one now? You do a part of from Sana Mudra. Sana Mudra. Which one? Sana Mudra. Okay, let me see. Who is it? Sita saying, okay, Sita. So, Pran Mudra, how does the Pran Mudra help? Increase the Pran Shakti. Okay. And what, what, is, what is Prana? Play? Okay, I don't know what Prana is. I'm your student. Tell me what is prana. I don't know. I'm a English. I'm, English, I'm a Scottish uh, country boy. I don't know what prana is. Tell me. <laughs> Take the oxygen inside the body more, is and it it get the energy. No, no. What is prana? Prana is your soul. Energy. No. Energy. energy. Life. Energy. It's a prana is a universal energy. It's all around us. Universal energy. Yeah. Everything in the universe moves due to prana. Even body to be alive, you need a prana. If you don't have the prana, body will die. That makes sense? Yeah. So I'm just, I, I didn't want to find fault. I'm just trying to give you kind of hopefully a right wording, you know. Obviously, I know by heart now. In my mind, it's, it's like a, somebody engraved that in my mind so I can't forget, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to give you the same to all of you as well to make sure you understand and kind of take the maximum benefit of pranayam. Uh, so what does prana does? What it else? Improves, it improves the eyesight and also our immune system. That's that's from that's see the prana. All this mudra has a lot of different benefits. A lot of people talk about a lot of different benefits, but you only get one thing at a time. Otherwise, you don't see the benefit. It's not like a medicine. It's like a very slow process. But if you want just the immunity, it will give you immunity. If you want to improve your eyesight, only improve your eyesight. And if you increase your prana, then just increase your prana. So what is prana feel? What is where is the prana stored? Where does the body store the prana? In the uh, uh, solar plex. Solar. Yeah. And what does prana feels like? Could you, could you, could you do me exercise to see if I if I don't know what prana feels like? How can it feel? What does it feels like prana? It's like a pulse. It's like a vibration. Mm -hmm. Can you show me one of the exercises which we showed you how to feel the prana? Your hand. Put your both hand there, bring them together. Remember that, Sita? No, do it there. Keep your hand straight and close your eyes and feel the energy between the two palms of your hand. As you bring closer to each other, gently, not too, too slowly, too slowly. As you slowly you come in, you can feel the sensation of pulse between the palm of your hand. As you come closer and closer, you can feel the vibration and also the attachment, the, like both fingers coming together. And that's prana at work. When you go back, you can feel the pressure in back of it. You're going too quick, Sita. You have to do it gradually. Then you feel the pressure behind it. If you do it gradually, then you won't feel it. Because it's not that strong. It's like a prana is very minute. So you have to kind of feel it gently. 
Can you feel the spots between the palm of your hand? That's what prana is. When you go ahead, you feel the back on it. That's what prana is. Feel like Very a important. ball. That's it. It's, it's like a, it's like negative and positive energy coming together. But don't do too fast. You have to do it gently and feel the energy between the palm of your hand. That's why they say that when you've done some exertive exercises, you bring your breathing back to um, the street. You put That's your right. hand, get the energy back. A little bit together. Also, for allergy, one of the main, main see the middle of the palm of your hand, this is a focal energy point. That's why we get so many things, what do you say? Asirvad. Uh, it gives you energy from there to you, from myself to you, like a Reiki. And if you have a parachute, don't touch the same way like this. Then you get the opposite result. You get the negative. You have to touch them cross. It's like a mirror image. You have to connect negative with positive, positive with negative to get the energy from another person. If you do like this, you're losing energy. If you look at it, if you, if you read the signs of it, you'll find that this is the way you touch somebody else's feet. Then you get the maximum Asirvad and Gamilta. Again, that's what I've been taught. I'm just telling you what my knowledge tells me. I might be right or wrong, I don't know. But I think I'm on the right track. That's what the, all the books I've said, read, tells me to do that. Very important. I've lost the plot again. Okay, we got the plan for that. So when you have the energy, use that energy to upon to, to detox. Detox. Upon vayu mudra. Uska kya fayda hai? Batayi. Kaise detox karta hai? Sizal ye ap ap jab ap jab raj sir raj kursi ko baithe hue to bolna padega aap ko ab to is baat iske baat ki jawab de denge sajaa. Upon vayu mudra. The no, no, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm still talking about the uh, the apan mudra. Boli. Kya, uska kya, kya hai? It detoxifies the all, all our organs of the body. Kaise, kaise karta hai? Um, yeah. Through, through sweat, My through patina And the yeah. sweating is coming out. That's it. To the, the respiratory system also? No, to the kidney function, to the bowel yeah. movement, through Lungs. the breathing eye. Mm -hmm. And up your mind, the negative thoughts are also be dur bhaga Yeah. To so get rid of any foreign material in your body out of your system and promote health. This is Apan Mudra. Yeah. Okay, so somebody else now, if we, I'll get somebody else now. Who wants to, what's next now? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Surya Mudra. Surya Mudra. Surya Mudra. Who is that? Okay. Rajiv. Okay. Surya Mudra. So what's the benefit of Surya Mudra? Uh, which is this Surya Mudra, which is um, index finger under the thumb, really um, helps you with the diabetic, diabetic, if you're a diabetic patient, also obesity as well, lose weight. But remember, this is first thing you have to say is this improves your liver function. That's why, oh. because that's the ring finger. And through the liver function, heats the body up, your digestive system improves, and that's what makes you lose weight. It also helps to lower your cholesterol, cholesterol. balance your cholesterol back and forth. These are the important things you need to highlight that. Once, once, you do, once you've done that, what health issue do you have? Do you have high blood pressure, or low blood pressure, or neither? Low blood pressure. Oh. Low blood pressure, Rajya. Sorry, what was I again? Sorry, 70? Do you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, or neither? Neither. Neither. In the family, you have any problem at all? Any mother, father, your uncle, auntie had any high blood pressure, low blood pressure? I think my mom had, when she when she got in a senior age, she had yeah. blood pressure. What, high blood pressure? Yeah, high blood so pressure. If she had it, the chance of you getting it high. So what I will say to you, you should do the upon why you mudra. So you do a risk assessment. Like you do for business, you do for the health. Like oh. my father had a high blood pressure when he was 40. So I knew I'll get it early as well. But because of yoga, I delayed the whole process. Now I've got it after 60. So at least I made the improvement that way. Follow oh. me? Yeah, so really, for you, I will say do the Panwa Yumudra. How you do the Panwa Yumudra? 
uh, with your with your uh, index finger. That's it. And that's the, the, uh, the middle finger and the index finger. And the Excellent, finger. well done. That's perfect. So, what's the benefit of that again? Reduce your for high blood pressure. High right? blood pressure. What's the second benefit? Obesity. Obesity. No, no. Oh. Even people with low blood pressure can do that as well. People Obviously. who have low, like uh, Mani has your low blood pressure, she still do a pan vayu mudra for something else. Is that make, the, make the lung stronger. So when you climb your stair, doing anything physical, you don't get out of breath. So what your mind thinks, body deliver. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Every mudra has a lot of benefit, depending on what you're trying to achieve from it. No point just doing it just for sake of doing it then you're not getting any benefit. You have to know exactly because it's got something might be good for you, something might be bad, same mudra might be bad for you as well and good for you as well. If I'm doing it for this for high blood pressure and, and the, if, if, if Mrs. Mani does the same thing, so she will get the high blood pressure as well. And she doesn't want to, she wants to, she, she wants to see the low blood pressure, she wants to come up, she wants to come down further. So she needs to think, no, I'm doing it to improve my lung. So I might be doing it for high blood pressure, but she may be doing the same mudra, but telling herself in the mind, no, I'm doing this to improve my lung function. What your mind thinks, body delivers. Does that make sense? Yep. See, that's very important. Same as ling mudra. Mani can do ling mudra for low blood pressure to improve her health. Fair enough, good. But I can, I've got high blood pressure. I can still do ling mudra, but I'm, I'm doing ling mudra to get rid of all the mucus from my body. Heat my body up because I'm feeling cold. It's cool outside, so this will heat the body up. So what your mind thinks, body delivers. And it's all part of, don't be negative. It's not, I'm not trying to find fault in all of you. I'm just trying to make you more aware of how mudra works. A lot of people doing mudra because they're copying each other, doing it, but they, they don't know exactly what, it, what they're trying to achieve. They think, hey, if I tell you 10 different benefits of certain mudra, you know when you get all 10 benefits. You don't want that. Some might harm you. So you want something which is good for you, not harming you. Follow me? So that's very important. So that's why I tell you the benefit and you have to decide what if a brand mudra, if you're doing it, if somebody got eye problem, they'll want to say, no, I want to improve my sight. That's what they'll say. Oh, I'm doing it to improve my prana. So I'm doing for pran mudra. Somebody might be doing to increase immunity because immunity is low. Then do the immunity. What do you think? Body delivers. Any question on that so far? Did, did, did you like what I was saying? I'm trying to simplify it in kind of a layman's term. Because it's very important to kind of follow. I see people doing it blindly. And I'm, yes, they might be getting some benefit, but they might be harming themselves in the process as well. Like in, in the class, I might say, yes, hey, let's do the upon why you mudra and money does upon why you mudra as well just because i'm doing it just to follow me through just to be part of the team but then she might be harming herself because i'm doing it for low blood pressure i'm doing to reduce my pressure down her pressure is always down she doesn't want to go any further down she wants to bring it up to bring it normal so, so see, see, the point i'm trying to I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to push on that point just to highlight those points I know time, time just passes through, it's just already half 10 already. I'm sorry it took a bit longer, but I think I hope you, you like what we talked about, what we did. Sometimes it's good to understand those things, deeper sense of understanding. Very important. Where do I go from here now? Last. <laughs> Varun Mudra, last. Yeah, last Varun Mudra is, is good for, say, like a I'll tell you a story. I was with Ashaji going to took him around Scotland. He went to see the farm with the cow, all the, all the all the animal farming, how they do the milk and all that process. So we're going through, there was traffic jam, and I was busting for a pee. I couldn't hold it. So what I what I did, two things I did. One was I had a cloth peg put on my little finger. And second thing, I took a packet of salted crisp and eat a lot of crisp, a lot of salt to, to reduce the water intake. I hold it for one hour. I couldn't hold it any longer. I had to park my car in the embankment and run over the trees and just, just drain the high. It's all I'm saying to you. But that, that's what, that's what waterworks. This improves your hydration. If you dry skin, 
It's good for allergy, good for asthma, everything is wrong, but also good for hydration. And that's why if young children wet the bed, all you do is put the clothes bag on top of like that. They won't wet the bed in both hands for five years when they're watching TV. Simple thing like that. That's why mudra works. But there are a lot of different mudra. You can do sun mudra for hearing and different things. That's that's what I'm just saying. These five mudra you have to do udan, vayu, pran, apan, and sun mudra. And obviously, people, most people have to have low blood pressure, high blood pressure, more likely, genetically, then you have to do one of those. And after that, you can do sun mudra if you have a hearing problem, if you have arthritis, then why you mudra more often, and things like that. If you have a skin problem, like jima and all that, then you do skin mudra and also do more upon mudra and things like that. Again, every illness, there's a different package of mudra. So it's depending, because here I can only, I can talk in sense of general, to promote overall health. At the same time, if you have certain issue, then you have certain mudra for that. Even for allergy, when I talk about it, one day I'll talk about which mudra to do for allergy. Oh, yeah. X months ke liye ka, kaun se? X months. Example, thank you. It's quite a few. I don't want to tell you quickly so you understand. So one thing, it might be, I'll, uh, not this week, but next week, one week, what I'll do on eczema. Because I need to pick a topic, then I can talk about this. Otherwise, I don't want to mix the two things together. Then people who have allergy or something, they'll be confused. Is that okay? Is that good? Yeah, okay. Sorry, and will, will, if, but if no, you it's really, it's if you need desperate, it's then come to me that I'll work on it some one night to two o'clock and work something out for you, no problem, package as well. It's, okay. It takes just, yeah. I'm not very good at talking, you know, typing things. This takes me a bit longer to do all those things, but I'll do it for you. No, I don't mind. In the day, we all here for each other. So let's finish the class off today. But thank you very much for being a good listener. Hope you picked up a few things today and, and in, enrich your lifestyle with the knowledge you have. And uh, let's do Brahmi you get in front of and take the claim. So take your class, take your thumb to close your earlobe, in this finger on your forehead, covering your eyes, take a deep breath and chant like a bumblebee for three times. Eyes closed, take your both hand up in there and keep your eyes closed. Gyan Mudra chant Om for three times. Keeping your eyes closed, we do pranav, silent, deep breathing. Both happen there, I love them together. One thing I will say to you, uh, really, we're trying to promote health through yoga, but to attend my class, you all have to have this book, really. Then I don't have to repeat the health and safety every day in detail, then when I can't complete the class properly. So really, if you don't have this book, please buy it just now. Even I can do it for nine pound, including package, if you want. Um, it's not about making money, it's about trying to make sure you have enough information. So if you want it, just contact myself. 
you, the book itself is cost 10 pounds and posters cost about three pounds something, but we'll do it for nine pounds all in. So really, if you're interested, let me know and we'll, I'll post, I've got the books here and I'll send it to you right away next week. Within 24 hours, you'll get it, no problem. So it's the nine pounds, you're not much asking for it. Even you can give some children, your family, your loved one, like a birthday present or something like that. Don't give that your anniversary present, otherwise you're in trouble. <laughs> they think, what do you think? I'm not healthy. <laughs> so this is good for birthday present and things like that. Also, you know, just if you don't have it, please acquire this book. It will help you. And also, then, then I'm sure that you have knowledge better than just to improve the knowledge. Very important. Like today, I think uh, Hansa Ji, Mani Ji, everybody, uh, we all did well. And we learn more from each other. It's not about just, and because in the day, I want to become a chela. I want you all to become a guru. It's not like that. Then I can, when I go, when I become 90 years old, I can sit in there, like Hang Saban, I can do all the exercise and things, and you can teach me you know, what to do. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so, Lily, thank you very much. Lily, I appreciate all the. Let's do some prayer. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all be healthy. May all enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. None suffer. May none suffer. Om Santi Santi Santi. Santi. Oh. you want to say that again? The Sanskrit may bully you, please. One by one, okay? Because yesterday I mix up. So I will change the and you change first. Okay? Om oh. Santi Santi Dukha Pak Pawe Maha Prashi Dukha Pak Pawe Shanti 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 Ah! 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 Good morning to Jaya Ji as well. Om, nice to see you. Hope you enjoy the class. Do a laughter class now. Give me a good laughter. Come on, everybody. Thank you to my lovely family, all the people, Champaji, Sarujban, Manuban, Kamplanji, Mohan Vice. Aapka wife naam kya hai? Bula gaya hum. Oh, Shriya. Yeah. and, yes. and tonight, tonight, what I was thinking was, tonight class, I think uh, people want to come on. I want them to talk about any benefit they had, why did they connect with yoga, with Swami, what, what, what their connection with trust is. Talk about themselves, each person for four, three to four minutes, each person can talk for half, from half seven to eight o'clock. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Today, that, so that will get to know each other better probably, you know? Yeah, but that's the, great. The, the thing I'm looking for is which city you come from, what kind of lifestyle, what kind of job you did, and things like that. Something about yourself, and kind of why did you connect with yoga, and what you any benefit you had so far, and, and what do you want to achieve from it? 
So we can help you to achieve that. That's what yoga is about. Is that is tonight? That tonight? Tonight, if you don't mind. Is that okay? Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, so she lays here, Panam Yadagia, Om, Panam, Lucy Panam, Sikya, Anna. Look after yourself, have a lovely day, see you tonight. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This will be on the YouTube as well, you can watch it in your own time, or you can send it to your friends and family. More people can benefit from the whole thing. Thank you very much.